right, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the STEM Lockdown Digital School. This is Grade 11 Life Sciences. My name is Onkarabete Sese, and you guys can get hold of me on my Twitter handle, which is at Onkarabete underscore A. So guys, I'd uh, like to welcome each and every single one of you. Okay. And guys, please use the Zoom group chat to write down any answers, questions that you guys have. And also, let's remember just to be respectful to one another. All right, guys. And also, please um, have your notebook, your pens, all your stationery that you're going to need in front of you so that we participate. And one more thing, guys, if you have a question, maybe, um, that I did not see in the group chat or I have an answer, just raise your hand. There is an option to raise your hand and then I will get to you guys. So all your mics are muted, all your um, videos, they are muted. But yeah, guys, let's disengage on the group chat box. Okay. All right, so human digestive system. Right, this is a process that most of us, actually not most, all of us are familiar with, right? And I believe uh, our bodies go through a digestive process every day, I hope so, I hope we help you. So yeah, guys, let's just get on with it. So at the end of the lesson, you guys should be able to define the process of ingestion, digestion, absorption, and you should be able to write down the significance of each of each of these listed processes. You should be able to name and identify the organs of the elementary canal as well as associated organs. And you guys should also be able to name each of the listed organs. Right. Another thing, if I am going too fast, just write it, um, just say it in the group chat and I'll just slow down my pace. Okay, so this structure, guys, I hope you guys can see. Um, this is basically what we will be focusing on throughout our whole lesson. This is just an overview of what we will be looking at today. All right, so now let's look at the process of the digestive system. All right. We have what you call ingestion. That's the first thing that happens um, for the digestive process to take place in the human body is ingestion, right? This occurs when food is taken in by the mouth, all right? The second thing that happens is mechanical digestion, all right? This is where the crushing and sharing by means of the teeth is happening, right? Your teeth break, basically breaking down the food particles that you have ingested. The third thing that happens is chemical digestion, right? This is the chemical breakdown of food. The fourth thing that occurs in the process of digestion is the movement of, of the products of digestion. Basically, the products of digestion is the nutrients that you get from the food that you eat, your vitamins, your minerals, and your water, right? It moves into the blood. That is the process that happens by absorption. The first thing that happens is what we call assimilation. That is the uptake and the use of glucose and amino acids by the body cells, basically from the blood, for energy and various reasons. So this is where your nutrients move from your blood into your body cells, okay? For the various reasons that um, the body cells require those nutrients for, okay? I hope everyone is following, guys. If you're not following, please use the group chat to write down any questions, queries that you guys have. All right. The sixth thing that we have in the process of digestion is what we call egestion. So basically, it is the removal of the undigested food in the form of feces. All right. So that's when we go do our number two. Um, that is egestion. All right, now we are going to look at the organs of the elementary canal. Right, remember our second study objective or study aim was that we should be able to name and identify the organs of the elementary canal. 
So now the question that you would have right now is, what is the elementary canal? Okay, so now the elementary canal is a whole tube or passage along which food passes through. Okay, so it starts from the mouth and ends at the end. Right. Um, let me just show it to you guys here. Okay, let me just get a pen quickly. So our elementary canal is this basically starts here. All right, this is by your mouth, right? And it moves through this tube. You guys can see it's a whole tube, right? And passage where your food moves to. So that's just between the lines. I'm sorry for the rough sketch. So it goes there, there, right? Then it moves there, 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 and so gets to your large intestine. So this is the passage that your food takes, right? From your mouth until it is digested by the anus. So in this picture, the elementary canal, it is depicted by this pink um, color, all right? So that is your elementary canal, all right? Okay, so now let's start with the first organ of the elementary teacher please just check your sound Okay, guys, sorry about that. Um, Teacher? Hey guys, I am so sorry about that. It was just me.
Teacher, you can continue. Uh, thank you, ma'am. All right, guys, I'm sorry about that. Um, as I was saying before, that the mouth, it is the first organ in the elementary canal, and it is used for ingestion and the mechanical digestion. So basically, what happens here is that this is where your food is ingested, all right? This is where the intake of food happens, all right? And in your food, it moves down the elementary canal and it gets the second organ, which is called the esophagus, all right? Guys, um, I think certain spellings and textbooks um, Spelling of esophagus differs, right? Others write it with an E and others have an O. So you guys can use whichever one. So basically what happens on the esophagus is that food moves, um, <clears throat> the food is moved down to the stomach. So this is the organ which connects your mouth and your stomach, right? So the moment that the food, after chewing it and everything is happening, once it moves down to the esophagus, we refer to it as a bolus, okay? It is now called a bolus. So by the esophagus, there is no enzymes which are secreted and the food moves down by the movement we call peristalsis. All right, let's just... So this is the peristaltic... Ooh, sorry. Peristaltic movement in which the bolus moves. Um, these muscles here, they contract, right? As the upper ones, they relax and it moves the food down, right? As you guys can see by the arrows. So there is a constant um, contraction and relaxation of muscles that is happening until the, the bolus reaches your stomach. All right, okay. And the third organ of the elementary canal is the stomach. Okay, so what happens in the stomach is that the mixing of the bolus is happening. There is a whole secretion of enzymes and all that, right? So now, remember we said that we refer to the food on the esophagus as the bolus. Once it gets to the stomach and it mixes with all the enzymes that are secreted, we call it chyme. Okay, so in the stomach, we have um, a release of HCL. We have a release of the enzyme pepsin. We have a release of mucus. Okay, so all of these enzymes, they have different functions while they're being released and, and while the mixing of kinds is happening. Okay, so basically the HCL, it provides an acid medium for the enzymes in the stomach. Um, it also destroys bacteria. We, the HCL also breaks sucrose into glucose and fructose, all right? And then we have the pepsin, which breaks down proteins, and it breaks down, it breaks down proteins into peptides. And then we have the mucus, which is also released in the stomach. Let me just get the laser pointer. All right. So we also have the mucus, which is released in the stomach, which protects the um, stomach layer, right? The, the gastrointestinal in, in, in lining of the stomach. So guys, here we have um, the picture of the stomach, okay? So you guys should not focus on this too much. This is for the students who probably need more understanding about it or deep understanding. But what you guys should know is that from here, this is our esophagus, this is where the bolus enters, right? And our stomach has three layers, but we'll be focusing inside and not, we'll not be looking at the outside layers, but we'll be looking at the inside. So it's happening in the inside. All right, so inside there, the bolus enters obviously through the esophagus and the um, esophageal sphincter. It enters there, and this is where you have your secretion of HCL, you have your secretion of pepsin, you have the secretion of mucus happening. So when the mucus is released, it protects this lining here, all right? So that the acid doesn't burn the stomach. I'm sure you guys have heard of ulcers and all that. 
So that usually happens when you have an overproduction of acid and it is caused by a bacteria, right? So that is where all our mixing takes place and most of the chemical digestion takes place in the stomach, right? So guys, let me just quickly check the chat if we have anything. Oh, I am a Okay, so now the fourth organ that we have is the small intestine, right? So this is where the final digestion of food takes place and most of the food is absorbed, right? We have absorption taking place. Remember we said that absorption is when we have our minerals, our vitamins and our water getting into our blood. So that whole process of absorption takes place in the small intestine, all right? So there by the small intestine, we also have more chemical digestion taking place, all right? So it doesn't end there, but it is the final digestion of food. Okay, let me just mark that. So this is our fourth organ of the elementary canal. All right, I hope you guys are all following. If you're not following, just please write your questions on the group chat. If I'm going too fast, just write, um, write down on the group chat if I should slow down. Okay, so the fifth organ of the elementary canal that we will be looking at is the colon. All right. Um, let me just get my pen there. So that is number five, the colon. This is where the absorption of water happens, okay? No enzymes are secreted at the colon. And so it's only water and other, yeah, water and, and the colon is fat soluble, all right? So basically it's just that fats don't get absorbed or anything like that, fats pass through the colon. All right, and then the sixth organ that we have is the rectum. This is where the feces are stored. So remember that at the small intestine, digestion ended at the small intestine, okay? After digestion ends there, the remaining particles, they move down to the colon. By the colon, we only have absorption into the blood, the absorption of H2O. Right, and then the particles that are remaining, they move down to the rectum. This is your undigested food, okay? This is your undigested food, and they are stored there. And it is what we call feces. We refer to those food to those undigested food particles as feces. So they stored there for a little while and then ingestion happens at the anus. So this is where the feces are released from the body during a process called ingestion or defecation. All right. So guys, again, what you need to know is the organs of the elementary canal. The first one, let me just get a little so that we go through it together. The first one is the mouth. The second organ is the esophagus. The third organ is the, is the stomach. The fourth organ is the small intestine. The fifth organ is your colon. The sixth organ is your rectum. And your final organ is the anus, okay? So guys, also remember, ne, the colon and the rectum, they form part of what we call the large intestine, right? That is that organ there, the large intestine. Okay, let's move along. Okay, so with the elementary canal, organs of the elementary canal, we have accessory organs. These are organs which help for the process of the elementary canal to go faster and to be more effective. Okay, so we're just gonna go through the accessory organs of the digestive system. We're gonna start here. We have the salivary glands, 
which will obviously assist in the mouth. We said that the mouth is used for ingestion, which is the intake of food. And we also said in the mouth, what you have is mechanical digestion, where the teeth break down the food. So the salivary glands assist in that. How do they assist? So the salivary gland secretes saliva, which functions, which functions to assist, um, sorry, to soften the food and assist in swallowing. All right. So basically your food will be moistened by the saliva. And then the saliva, of course, will also have an enzyme which we call amylase, which is used to break down starch. So guys, we will go deeper into chemical digestion um, tomorrow. And you guys will understand what um, the enzyme that is released, how it functions, etc. Okay. And then we have what we call the liver. This is the, the liver here. Yeah? If you guys can follow with the pointer here, this is the liver. So the liver manufactures bile. It deaminates amino acids. It metabolizes glucose and breaks down alcohol, drugs, and hormones. Okay, so that is the function of the liver and it is located right here. So the other accessory organ that we're gonna look at is the gallbladder. So the gallbladder stores bile. It stores bile until it is released into the small intestine, all right? So the function, another function of the gallbladder is that it emulsifies fats. It also promotes per peristalsis and it neutralizes the acidity of chyme. All right, remember that we said that chyme is produced in the stomach because food, when it goes down the esophagus, it's called the bolus. And once it enters the stomach, it's time, right? After the mixing is happening, after the mixing happened, it is time. Cool. Then we have the pancreas. The pancreas secretes pancreatic juice containing enzymes for digestion and secretes insulin and glucagon. So guys, we will look at the pancreas more in detail and we'll also look at the liver more in detail when we deal with absorption, when we deal with, sorry, mechanical digestion and chemical digestion. All right, so these sphincters here, they assist in the opening and closing. So this particular one here, the cardiac, the cardiac sphincter, this regulates the food entering the stomach. All right, and then we have the pyloric sphincter. This regulates the, um, the chyme to enter the small intestine. All right. Cool. Then the other, the other um, accessory organ, but guys, this one does not really have a function, is your appendix. So it doesn't have a function in humans. And now we also have babies who are born with heart and appendix. But some people have it, some don't. It really doesn't matter. It serves no purpose right now. Okay. So guys, here's questions, and I need everyone to participate. I need you guys to give me answers to these questions. Question 2.1, please. Study the diagram below, which shows the human digestive system. Okay, this is our diagram. 2.1.1, label parts A, C, E, and H. 2.1.2, write the letter only of the part A that stores bile. B where chemical digestion of protein begins. C, where most water and mineral salts are absorbed. So guys, I need you guys to give me the answers. Just write the answers in the chat box. Also guys, another thing that just accept in answering these questions is that because you already know the structure of the digestive system, before going to the questions, first name the organs here, yeah, name them here on the question paper so that it is easier to maneuver when answering questions. So here, obviously, A will write blah, 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 B is na, 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 C is na, 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 B is yes, yes, E, no, no, you know? Just like that. And then when we get to question 2.1, we get a, um, a question about labeling. A, you already labeled. You already reminded yourself that A is, and then you get down to it. 
Okay, guys, so I'm waiting for answers from everyone. Question 2.1.1, label parts A, C, E, and H. Okay, so we have answers coming through. Okay, let me get one from Danielle. Right, Danielle says part A is the esophagus. I see Janae is also saying that it is the esophagus. All right, that is correct. Part A is the esophagus. Remember, this is the organ in which the, the food, right, gets into and it's called the bolus and it moves through the, move, the, the process of peristalsis. You guys remember that, right? So part A is the esophagus. Part C, okay, let me just get a pen so that I can write it down. So that is your esophagus. All right, part C, that is an accessory organ. If you guys remember, it is an accessory organ. And this is where we said there is a release of the hormone called insulin and glucagon. All right, so part C is the pancreas. All right, part E, what is part E? Did anyone give me an answer for part E? Let's see. Okay, part E, someone said it is the anus. Okay guys, um, part E is not the anus, part E is the rectum. All right, guys, remember, it is the, the arrow is not pointing the end. Yeah, well, this is the end. That's where we find the end. But remember that the rectum, this is where your feces are stored. All right, then we go to part H. That is your liver also part of your accessory organs all right see so you guys are following quite nicely all right um question 2.1.2 write the letter only of the part and then question 2.1.2a says that stores bile the part that stores bile the part that stores bile. So I see someone said the liver. Okay, guys, remember we said that the liver secretes bile, okay? But the gallbladder bladder, it stores the bile, all right? So the gallbladder bladder is here and it is located by the letter G, all right? And then, Question 2.1.2, where the chemical digestion of protein begins. The chemical digestion of protein. 
So guys, remember we said that the bolus moves into the stomach, right? And the stomach releases certain enzymes. We, we mentioned HCL, which is released, the acidic medium. We mentioned pepsin and we mentioned mucus. And I said that mucus helps in the breakdown of proteins into peptides, right? So the answer for letter B is B, right? That's where B is the stomach, guys. That is where the digestion of protein begins. Let's see where most water and mineral salts are absorbed. Where most water and mineral salts are absorbed. Did I get answers for that? Question 2.1.2C. All right, it is it. That is correct, Danielle. Thank you very much, guys, for participating in this. And I hope you guys actually know the difference between your organs of the elementary canal and your accessory organs, and you can differentiate between them. All right, let's move right along. So, guys, this is your homework. All right. This is your homework for today. I need you guys to take a picture or a screenshot of this. And you guys need to complete this because it is quite important to be able to identify the different organs and to give various functions for those particular organs. So I need you guys to just take a picture. Or actually, because we still have time in our lesson, we can go through it. Guys, I also need to make sure that everyone understands what we went through. Can you guys identify the organs of the elementary canal? Can you guys also identify the organs of your accessory organs? And can you guys give a function of each or should we go through it again? Just need to make sure that we are all on the same page. And you guys also remember the process of digestion, which starts with ingestion and ends with digestion. Are we all on the same page with regards to that? Can you guys just please write, write it down on the group chat if you are good, if you understand, if there is anything that I need to go through again. Right, but so long we can start with this crossword. All right, so we need to complete the puzzle by solving the following clues. So in this structure here, it's number four down, right? So number four is here. What is this structure here? This organ, what is this organ? First thing is that this organ falls under the accessory organs. What is it? I need answers, guys. All right, cool. The library glance. Guys, I'm not going to fill it in, but I will mention the correct ones. So, yes, this is the salivary gland. Well done, Danae. I hope I am pronouncing your name correctly. That is your salivary gland. Ooh. Okay, sorry, guys. That, that was supposed to be a G. I'm sorry. <laughs> Okay, the next thing is seven across, the number seven across, it is that part there. What is this? What is this particular organ? What is this particular organ? So remember we have a clue here, which is an L, all right. From salivary gland. What is that particular? Okay. Okay, esophagus is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if we look at seven across, it only has one, two, three, four, five, six. It only has six spaces. And remember guys, we also have an L here, which comes from 
the salivary gland, which went down. Okay, now Lady Farnix doesn't have an L. This is actually one of those higher grade questions and I will give it time before we actually get into this one. This will particularly be for your homework, guys. Um, seven of course will be for your homework. This will ensure that you study today's topic. Yeah, the so seven of course will leave it for tomorrow. When we mark this homework, that's when we'll actually deal with seven. Because right? I see most of you guys are struggling with it, but which is good. I will give you guys time to go figure it out. What? Number seven is, okay, six down. It is this particular organ here. There, six down. And it is here. What is six down? Danielle, gallbladder, correct. That is. number six down is the gallbladder. I'm just gonna write GB for gallbladder. All right. Then we have two down. There is two down. And here is the organ in which two down is referring to. What is two down? What is two down? Okay, guys, a tip. This is by the entry of the small intestine, all right? This is by the entry of the small intestine. All right, so we have an answer from Lindy Wei. That is the dodenum. That is correct. And today we did not mention the dodenum. We will go deeper into the different sections and parts of the small intestine when we look at absorption in deeper detail. All right, nice one, Lindy. Number one down. One down. It is this particular organ where the food is now referred to as time. That organ releases HCL, pepsin, and mucus. What is that organ? The nay, stomach. Okay. Thank you very much. That is correct. Okay. I'm sorry, that is our stomach. Number eight across. So this is this huge organ here. It is part of the accessory organs that we have covered. We said that this organ is the tube bile. It's the tube bile. Eight across. Mbonge. That is correct. Okay, number 10 down. This particular organ is an accessory organ and it produces insulin and glucagon. That is number 10 down. This organ, it is an, an accessory organ. It produces insulin and glucagon. Yes, and that is correct. All right, then we have number five across. I think number five is pointing toward here. Number five across, and it is four letters, five across. Number five across, guys, we did not deal with it. So I will excuse you just as number seven across, I will excuse you with that because I did not deal with it. So let us just move on to number nine across. 
and when nine across it is found here it is one two three four five five letters nine across okay so what happens in the colon daniel what happens in the colon What happens at the organ number five? What's happening there? I need an answer, guys. What happens at number five across? Water is absorbed. Thank you, Mbonge. That is correct. Water is absorbed. And also remember that there are no enzymes which are released. And the colon forms part of the larger organ called the large intestine. All right. Number 12 across. Number 12 across, it's here. What is that organ? 12 across. Okay, so in the crossword, they just only placed um, letters for the first half of the word so it is your small intestine number 12 is your small intestine right cool and then what is three across number three across this is where ingestion happens it is your anus correct and 11 across that organ that has no function appendix well done guys thank you very much for participating and bearing with me um, throughout this lesson remember guys i need answers for seven across right this is the one that we didn't do seven across and five across tomorrow all right guys so guys um please review this structure here let me just get review the structure be able to name all the organs and at least give a function or two for each of the organs, both of the elementary canal and of the accessory organs. All right. And yeah, guys, this is the end of our lesson. So for more information, guys, you can send me an email. There is my email address. And you can follow Africa Teen Geeks on their website. You can follow them on Twitter at africateengeeks.co.za, on Facebook and YouTube. So guys, please do study what we went through today because it is really important that you have this foundation in order, in order for us to move on and to go into greater detail of digestion. All right, guys, see you tomorrow, same time. And yes, have a beautiful day further.